Yeah, yeah Brandon Woods. Up. He finna get a uh, Calvin Hobbs pinned on the, the Michigan side. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Okay, come back. I need to stand up, turn around, and come Let's back. Put Michigan on your body as well. Very relaxed. Perfect. We're just gonna play some dance. Hold on. Broke Dust is going to do heroin on the show. That's right. <laughs> We're trying to figure out which positions we all want to nod off in. Best in this bitch. Oh, oh, no. Six cars down and just put them down. Yeah, you got to spread them things out, man. Go ahead, take your time. Boy. Take your time. <laughs> yeah. So what about, that's all I want to ask you. We just popped hey, up hey. in my head. Ooh. 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 She said both of them. <laughs> all of them, my bad. All of them. Welcome back to the All In Show. Yeah. I am your host, Hollywood Harwell. Yeah. And yeah, I got the live as the dopest, getting the most tattoos on the show. Yeah. <laughs> Little Jake Jr. Jake Jr. Shout out to the Kankakee Podcast. Kankakee Podcast, he's the first one to do a podcast with a tattoo with artist on there. Inspired by, you know. Okay. But I'm, I'm good. good. I'm good, my boy. Yeah. How you feel? Man, I'm good. It's been a lot going on on my yeah. end and yeah. a lot of changes, a lot of life going, and I can't complain, my guy. Yes, sir. Yes, I can't sir. complain. Yes, yeah. Yeah. What you got? You good? <laughs> I think so. Last time I talked to you, was talking about celebrating. Life was yeah, great. Yeah, man. Can't complain. Now I'm a little nervous. Uh, it's been a minute. Well, whoever's making you nervous, I think it's time we introduce this legend. We got a motherfucking legend. Tattooing legend. So, tattooing. Hi. Businesses on businesses. Sliding through. Hey, and everybody. Just found out she did tattoos today, man. And she so, says she's doing free prostate exams. Exactly. Right. On you. On oh, <laughs> Yes, sir. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody can come in and get it done. I'll help. <laughs> I, got, I got like eight more gloves. I I'm gonna take more clients. I'm gonna have a spray bottle oh, with alcohol right. on it. There you go. But look, I hope that helps. <laughs> definitely appreciate you coming. We do not introduce the legends. So mm-hmm. if you could give us your name, absolutely. Your hometown, mm-hmm. your zodiac, mm-hmm. your favorite sports teams, mm-hmm. and if you have an Android or an iPhone. Oh, keep cute. my streak alive. ADHD, so you're gonna have to repeat some of that. No so worries. My we'll... name is Daimoon. Yeah. Um, yeah. I am a local tattoo artist that works out of Rogers Tattoo. Oh, nice. Shout out to Rogers. Yes, okay. in Bradley. Um, and I also have good old Bradley. Yeah. In my hometown. I'm actually from Salt Lake City, Utah. Okay. Salt Lake City. You're a little far okay. from home. I'm a little Mormon girl. Oh, a little Mormon City. girl. You ain't tell me that. Now I got okay. more questions. Okay. <laughs> Now, this is a important question on the show. Yeah. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Pisces. She a Pisces. Yeah! When March or, or April? I'm a March 9th. March 2nd. Oh, I'm going to say the yeah, wrong. Yeah, we're, we're, we're March yeah, Pisces. We That's yeah. why we, we are, are. We are. I was we raised are. with a March Pisces. I know how y'all cry. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Never in front of people. Though. Never in front of people. Girls, I disgusting. Ooh. That slide down the Can't wall. Can't tell y'all Wait, I cried on the show, so. Yeah. Traditions matter to y'all. Yeah. Can't tell y'all nothing. I mean, you No, I'm, I'm learnable. I like to learn. Oh, okay. You can if tell me sense. stuff. Yeah, if it makes sense. sense. Yeah, 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 if it yeah, don't yeah, make no sense, sense, I'm going to know immediately. My y'all spirit tell me and I know. They lying to y'all. You got to tell me. Pisces have an intuition that other zodiacs don't because we have a combination of all the zodiac signs. We are the last. Okay. We have something of everyone. I'm not arguing with y'all. It's pointless to argue with a Pisces. Please I know. <laughs> I like my grades. I don't need more. Oh, God. Brandon Wood said I'll turn all this shit off if we get a prostate <laughs> test. <laughs> well, you just oh, a oh, you can be a next guest. Come on in. She gonna put Michigan on the gloves. <laughs> he gonna get it then. Not Michigan. <laughs> he loved the University of Michigan. Oh, well, yeah, then, yeah, we ain't doing all that. You all right. You all right with us. Oh, God. Uh-huh. Favorite sports teams. Okay. Favorite sports teams. Steelers. Okay. Three bears. Okay. Okay. Those are my. Those are my. Those are my two. Those are my. Those are my two. It's a lot of teams in the world. If you're a real football player, you have two two teams. This is true. Do you have an AFC and an NFC? I don't watch the NFL. AFC and NFC. Right. That's how I roll. You're right. You're right. Actually, if you see. But when I watched you, right, I had a favorite player and a favorite team. Favorite so whatever player. player oh, that's wherever true. they went, that was my favorite. Oh, team. Oh, you was a bandwagon, so you just followed the players. Mm. So I have a favorite quarterback. Okay. So I was a Packers fan. Okay. That was my team. Was okay. it Aaron Rivers? Aaron was never my favorite player. Okay. So it was Peyton Manning for the longest. Hey, oh, hey, I, I can't. Hey, I can't even argue. And I was, I was hurt. Delon Burrell said, 
Uh, I got a Steelers jersey. You can steal. Say you got a jersey for you. I like the Steelers. Hey, hey. She liked the Steelers. Who's on it though? He yeah, said who, she who a Pisces with a lot of question marks. Yeah, that's Delon Burrell. Yeah, that's Delon Burrell. Delon, you're not gonna be shooting your shot the whole show. Man, yes, you can let him shoot. Shoot that. Let him tattoo a little bit. Shoot that motherfucker, man. Bro, does he say shoot it? Shoot it. I can multitask. Okay, she can look at how she say she gonna answer your questions. Our questions and do a tattoo. Yep, and we're gonna start tattooing. So, Delon, as you have questions, my boy, keep them coming. Cool, cool. Byron said, "Go Pats." Mm. Ben Wagon. Pats, though. I don't know nobody who rooted for them before they started winning. Before they started winning. Right. That's what I was about to say. Yeah. Same thing with Golden State. Lucy, Lucy, what you about to get done? I'm getting your face. I'm getting your face on the Ah! Lucy, (laughs) Lucy. You just make sure you don't movie move. Okay. Because then we'll have squiggles. Not so, I want to, before we get started, oh, no, 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 I'm going to skip the question of the show. Do you have an Android or an iPhone? I have a Samsung. You yeah. yeah. street, my boy! Let's stop this whole <laughs> thing. Say, stop the tattoo and everything up. <laughs> 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 There's See, a difference. I'm on the street. There's a difference. Yeah. It is. There's Samsung over everything. Yes. Yeah. But ain't they the same if they no. operating system? Yeah, so but it's like Android same. and Apple. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like iOS has its operating systems and like little Snapdragons and all right, that stuff. Right. Android does too, but Samsung is the brand of the phone. Apple's the brand of y'all. That's phone. what I'm talking about. So Samsung are on Android phones though, right? Yeah. Yeah. The operating system, yeah. They use the Android operating system. But it's system. called a Samsung. Just but like the, yours is called the manufacturer is a Samsung. Next question. That was never a question. Delon said, oh man, text go green. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, yeah. see, you messing up, Flair. Perfect. You messing up. I'm going to go Android. So, you work in the health field by day. I do. But you're a tattoo artist and an entrepreneur as well. I am. Can you tell us a little bit more about your businesses? Sure. So, um, I am in the medical field. Okay. And uh, So, you can do prostate for real. Well, I'm not a doctor, oh, but if, okay. if you're interested, I got an extra Slow down, Claire. Am I been not? <laughs> We've been advertising it for I mean, you the whole yeah. show. Friday, if you, you get the free Friday, be at the Armory on Friday. Right now, bro. And I do got... boring stuff, guys. I do the paperwork. Boring. <laughs> okay, okay. We got Del Sean and we got Brandon Woods in line, ready to my go. Boy, my boy, same time. A uh, dual prostate. I do check. got two oh, hands. Two hands. <laughs> two checks. They gave us two <laughs> hands for a reason. <laughs> Woo! This is getting real. So, okay, so you do t- tattoo artists. I mean, you do tattoo work. Um, you work in the health field mm-hmm. as your primary job. But you also told me you have other entrepreneur um, businesses as well. What else do we have going? I do. Um, so, Moon Care is my. Um, Skincare line. Oh, okay. so I have natural skincare products that I make and I sell. Um, and it's called Moon Care. It's uh, Moon Care Apothecary on Facebook, and it was created in honor of my late daughter MK. Mm-hmm. Who, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. She um she passed away in 2021 and 18 um from suicide, and so I needed to do something. With myself, um, just in life, and one of the things that I'm pretty interested in is skincare. I'm re- I'm always interested in that because what you put on your body matters. Exactly. So, yeah. right. people put on lotion because they want to be moist, but they don't realize that you're voiding your body of nutrients. And rubbing usually has alcohol in it to dry you out. A yeah. lot of that, like, or yeah. it has coconut oil in it. It's not good for certain skin types. A lot of people yeah. think it is. It's not. It dries you out. So that's one of the things that, um, you know, a couple of things. And then I also have um, Moonlit Home Repair and Design. So I have a home repair and design company. Moonlit Home Repair and Design. (laughs) And Design. I tear it up. HGTV. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to fix it up. Exactly. So I I have a general contractor. um, And he, right now, he's really in the South Chicagoland area, Indiana. Mm -hmm. I have a crew out there. Hoping to get a crew out here locally. So if anybody needs home repair and design... Okay. Home okay. Design. That's a lot of business. And I'm a mom. And you a mom? How many children? Um, I have 
two boys, uh, okay. 16 and thir they're about to be thir 16 and 13. Okay. Um, they go to school in Bradley. Nice. Shout out to Bradley. Shout Football out. players. Yeah. My okay. younger one just uh, won the Super Bowl again for the second time on yeah. JV. Yeah. Super wow. Bowl. Shout out. Okay. Congratulations. We're doing things. What position they play? Um, my boys, they kind of like vary. I think last year, uh, my older son was a de defensive lineman. My younger son was an old lineman two years ago and a D lineman last year. Okay. Um, my older one Ooh, right now. Up. Yeah, he uh, <laughs> doing track now. Now in hurdles. Yeah. That's a what? big difference than yeah, the offensive and defensive line. Oh, yeah, that track. He would yeah. Faster. Faster. Get around that edge, boy. So, hey, I'm, I'm with it. Sports yeah. is my thing. Yeah. There's nothing I, I thing. can hear. You've been a sports fanatic a long time? Yeah, my whole life. I've always liked sports. What's um, your favorite sport? Football, man. Football. football is it? Football is my sport. Why <laughs> football? Like, what made you get into sports like that? Um, you know what? When we were growing up, there really wasn't a lot on on Sundays. Okay. Um, that's true. Prime that you time say that. as well. Every channel usually had sports on it. Right. Or you know, you might catch a good sitcom or something like that, but most likely more. Yeah, sure. Not. Right. Yeah. Weekends have always been sports. Yep. Yeah, sure. So I. I never thought about that. Sold definitely. Up. NBC, TNT, yep. CBS. CBS. <laughs> pause. I'm sorry. I gotta pause, y'all. So in the comments. They are going crazy. I see. Byron said, no, Delon first says, skincare, you say. Okay, okay. Byron comes back and says, my skin needs need some moisture. Okay, moisture. Okay. Delon said, no, 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 fam. You got to go to Walmart. <laughs> 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 they fight for your services. <laughs> no, you go this is the first time they ever fought for somebody in the comments. You fight, let's get it. <laughs> well, they're, you judge they're Mills watching. Lane, huh? They're paying attention? Yeah, yeah as long as they're watching. As long as they're paying attention, that's all I care about. So how did you practice tattoos when you first started out? Ooh, good question. Um, out the gate. Good question. <laughs> okay. All Shout right. out to the worldwide internet. The worldwide. Internet. First things first, does my makeup look okay? Yeah. Do I look like a glazed jelly donut because these lights are hot? Are you no. Uh -uh. No, you good. Hold on, hold on. Do me a favor. Look in this camera. Hey, Delon and Byron, does she look like a glazed jelly donut? What was the other one? How she look? How she look? Tell her how she look. Y'all the comments. Tell her how she look, man. Yeah, come on. But well, while we wait for them, so what did you? How did you practice? Mm. Yeah, myself. On yourself. I've tattooed all over myself. So my whole body, my neck. I've tattooed your neck too. Yeah. Your back. I can't reach my back, but she um, said you right parts up. of your my thing. Man, your thing. <laughs> I practiced <laughs> right on myself. Delon said Thank you look you. good to me. That's, yeah. that's what Delon said. Thank you, Delon. Yeah, I practice on myself. And then um, what's cool about being older and getting into tattooing mm -hmm. is people are accepting. They're very like, you can practice on me. Oh, they don't. Sure. They are just like, hey, I, I believe in you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And um, having That's... people do that, just random people, like, yeah. man, that pushed my career so fast. Like, typically a tattoo apprenticeship is like two years. Um, I got into my own booth within, I think, like 60 days. But what I did... From when you first started? Yeah. So what I she did... She said, yeah, like, it ain't no big deal. Yeah. Right. Right, but ADHD. At, at we gotta remember, we learn different. We do. So... Because we obsess. So what, we start what like niche did you zero in on to get better? You know what? The script. Yeah. Because I realized one thing, that... At first, I was like, ooh, tattooing is just like tracing, right? I've been doing that since, like, preschool. Mm -hmm. Right. I know how to trace. No. But you quickly realize that it's so much more. Don't you have mess to know skin types. You have to know... Um, you can mess it up a little bit. Just like a little check mark in there <laughs> yeah. for you. Ryan said check. No. <laughs> um, no, put like a Q. <laughs> Q. If you're going to mess it up, put his beard on there. Oh. Dang, that's weird to have my beard on you. I don't know. Is it weird? Especially yeah, since you get, especially since you get Lucy's face. <laughs> Put your beard on her face. <laughs> Byron said to tell you he loves jelly donuts. So if you feel like you look like one, okay. There we go. Okay. Hey. All right, boy, we get fancy. Get busy. All right, we get busy. These comments, boy. <sighs> this is new. I like this. Okay. Tatted on the show, man. How do you feel about intoxicated customers? I will not you're tattoo you if you're intoxicated, and I'll tell you why. I sure was about to. I'll tell you why. Don't get lit. 
you're I, what happens when you, you drink couldn't. alcohol it thins your blood what am i doing i'm injecting needles and ink into your skin mm -hmm. so if you're just gonna bleed my ink out what's the point mm. you just gonna ruin your tattoo you're drunk no 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 a, a, it was me messing with i know that's right oh, but yeah. a, 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 like what i'm saying is like a drink you know cool mm -hmm. don't don't get me wrong oh, i'm not one of those we people. said intoxicated yeah intoxicated okay. because they come in you got to remember where rogers is located right mm -hmm. right on broadway with all those bars, trip, right yeah. the bars people yeah. do it yeah. yeah people do they'll come in and you know we have to be courteous and respectful and we we try our best not to be like oh they're drunk you know because that's that's bad business right. we're professionals when right. you come in we're gonna give you a console right. but we're gonna slowly shoo you out the door because plus we don't even know if you're in your right mind to get the tattoo that you really want and, anyway and how messed this up might is be a that drunk, like you wake up the next day and you've got a mike tyson tattoo man. from the hangover you know what I mean? yeah. now you're mad at me but yeah. you came to me last night yeah. crying for this tattoo you told yeah. me you've always wanted it it's the best thing in the world like yeah. that's why well, i got a tattoo i can't find one thing i want in my body i always wanted to ask you that bro i don't, don't know i'm not opposed don't i can't find that. something i want to you should it's get a big deal on your shoulder ain't us my, 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 my. I would rather draw with this pair of scissors into my skin then, then put an apple product on my body. The bite mark, right on your Not back, the man. bite mark, too. Kino yeah. said, it, my boy knew them shots. Shots fired. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what do most people not realize about life as a tattoo artist? Uh, I'll tell you right now. Well, I worked hard on this one. I ain't gonna lie. I see, time. I see. We give me a little time. <laughs> tips matter. Tips. A lot of tips yeah, matter. tips matter in this industry. Um, and time. You got to remember if we're if if an artist is drawing something for you, like mm -hmm. drawing up a design. Yeah. That's time. That's time. Sometimes yeah. it's yeah. hours, days, weeks, mm -hmm. and you're giving us a couple hundred dollars for a tattoo, and you don't tip. That's crazy. Yeah. You don't tip. People are like, oh, you should just put the tip. Wait, you're supposed to tip line. in. The, I just realized you're supposed to tip in a tattoo. Mm -hmm. You t you would tip a waiter to bring you your food that you're gonna eat in five seconds, but a tattoo lasts forever. Yeah. So um. you should always tip your tattoo. But you don't have tattoos, so that's new. That's yeah, a good yeah. question. So that's why I asked. Yeah. I ain't know. We uh we suffer in our industry because pricing, of course, and of course everything's gone up right so mm -hmm. we can't ink obviously but so is gas so is groceries mm -hmm. like we're not special right however our prices need to reflect that so people get shocked when they hear a couple hundred dollars and things like that no yeah. no no, no. this is me putting time on your body and art on your skin like right. this ain't easy to hold a machine and inject needles like it's not easy you can right. easily chew somebody's skin up yeah so if you have an artist take care of them make sure you tip them well take care Tip the artist, man. That's right. Tip your artist. Byron said he needs you to put the bat symbol on his chest. Oh, Ooh, wow. I love Batman. Bruce Wayne. Yeah, my boy, That's Bruce my Wayne. Man. Yeah. Superheroes. Yeah. I got an unpopular opinion about him. We're not going yeah. to it, though. Stop. Superhero. You know what, my. You know, Stop it, bro. He got a superpower. And that ain't his fault, bro. Yeah. He came into this. It ain't Flash fault. He's so fast. Yes, it is. It ain't his Ooh, fault. He got struck by about... lightning. What you mean? He oh, can't God. control the lightning. He was at the wrong place at the wrong time. So was Bruce's parents. Well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look at it. Look, her face is like, he right, but he wrong. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, so listen, was man. Bruce's parents. That's, that's, that's nuts. Crazy. It's the truth. It's disrespectful. It's bro. truthful, but yeah, you right though. Just like Spider Man got bit. Yeah, he asked the spider, come on, come on, come on. Right, he wasn't like, hey, Mr. Spider. Yeah. He didn't just rub his head. Right here. Mm -hmm. This will be the good one. Yeah. I'm going to be a superhero. You look different. That's different than money. Ooh. Bruce you want me, you want me to do it? Is that what we gonna do on the show? No, that's Bruce Wayne's I'm not gonna do it. We gonna have it that one day, but not today. That ain't gonna be the one. That's Bruce's superpower. So if my people want to book you on the show, our people want to reach out to you. Um, be Where can it, we uh, find you on the worldwide internet? Yeah, how can they reach out? How can Delon reach out and get you that lotion? Get that lotion. How can Byron get that Batman Jesus, on his chest? Yeah, um. Facebook. Facebook is the best way to reach me um, as far as needing work or looking for product. Mm -hmm. um, Facebook. And on Facebook. <laughs> and on Facebook, um, 
Where do they look you up at? Uh, it's Dine Moon. D for Delta, A for Alpha, I for India. Second word is Moon. M O O N. Dine Moon, man. Simple, simple as that. Dine That's Facebook. Moon. Is that also Instagram? Uh, Instagram is her vibe though. Um, H E R dot vibe, V I B E dot though, T H O. Got it. Okay. Talon said follow. Right, <laughs> you didn't even finish. Hey, <laughs> I already felt it. <laughs> so we, we got to give you mad props. So most people, not all, but most people who come on the show, we give them a pre-interview mm-hmm. so that we can set up the questions and make life easier for us mm-hmm. as we scout the internet and steal the questions we want to ask. Yeah. Right. right? This is true. It's the truth. It's a good truth. Good at it too, boy. I, we. I ain't say me. We. Shout out to my we. boy. I do the editing too. Yeah, we. <laughs> you hear me? We. Man. Did we get some bad oh, news God. back in that letter? Oh, <laughs> um, And so, yours was extremely detailed. You made it really easy. So, everybody knows. I want to make sure we give you props. That this, this whole show was guided by you because you gave us so much to work with. Oh, it made it God. really easy to uh to set it up for you. Thank you. You're welcome. I try to be thorough because, as you know, we have to hyper focus. For sure. Yeah. And if I don't, I'm not going to do it. Then it doesn't exist. Yep. Sure. I'm not going to do it. I'm not even going to lie. Yeah. You know when I remembered about the show? Today. I think when it was last night be. when y'all said, hey, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> don't feel bad because I'm the person who's supposed to reach out at the beginning of the week and say, hey, are you still coming in? And oh, I've just God. been. Oh, Both God. of us. Yeah. Yeah. So I apologize. No. Yeah. No. It worked out perfectly fine because I was like, yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. So one of the topics you wanted to talk about was mental health in black communities. Yes. Okay. Okay. So what do you see as a major barrier for African Americans um, in getting adequate mental health care? Resources. There's not enough community resources that are available that are affordable. Yeah, you can see um, a physician, a mental health physician or anything like that. Yeah. It's going to cost you. Even if yeah. you have Medicaid, you're not going to be able to, in this area, you are not going to be able to see a physician that is up to par to handle mental health. Right. These are people that are just taking people because they carry state insurance or whatever. So and there's a difference between a counselor and a oh, therapist yes. and a, is it a psych? What's the right word? Psychiatrist, Psychiatrist psychologist, absolutely. Right. So there's a difference, but, but there's one, isn't it a psycho Psychotherapist? Therapist? Yes. There's a difference between all of these titles yes. and their, their abilities and what they're able to do. Absolutely. And so, um, also I think I think what you said was dope. I agree with that 100%. Uh, I also think it is the legend, the myth that runs around in our culture. If you go see them, something wrong with you. You're crazy. Yeah. Or, or there's yeah. nothing wrong with you. Stop acting like that. Right. It's because yeah. of this or it's because of every, they like to say different. There ain't nothing wrong with that boy. He just. Yeah. He special. doesn't love. No. Something wrong love. with Growing you up, don't grow out of growing up, yeah. I used to get talked about. They used to say that all the time. Yeah. It's just a phase. He three. A How's phase. a phase at three? You gonna yeah. grow out of it? How's it a phase at three? That's one thing is we we lack a lot of resources within our own communities because we don't see that as an issue. Right. However, look at how many women over the past maybe two to three years, maybe five, maybe decade. Mm-hmm that are committing murder suicides on their children because mental health is not brought to the forefront. No, that's you know, we talked about that on the show. There's dads doing it too. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but postpartum and yes. how that plays a major part uh, in that. Um, how do you feel about that? And what can we do as a community to help uh, mothers in that situation? I mean, fathers too. Yeah, I think, mothers. yeah, absolutely. Good question. For male, and I think it's harder for male males in our community because you you have to be tough, still sharp and still, right? Yeah, yeah. If there's something mentally wrong with you, there must be something physically wrong with you. You or, can't publicly be soft. Exactly. Right. Right. There, that is a that is such a horrible stigma that we place on each other, mm-hmm. and that we carry it along. Yeah. Why though? Because at one point it made sense. That's I know true. this sound crazy. At one that point it made it. sense because. Pops had to get up before the sun to feed the animals yeah. and clear this and do all the work to there get everything no going. Health. There wasn't time for no mental health. Man, Go back, do your job. Back then, though, Pops was, mm. Pops was mean as hell. He was, Because of everything he, he had to do. He was stressed out. Yeah. 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 Until his sons got old enough Pop to had, them to stop going Pop to school. Three to families work. up the block. 
That's, that's exactly. I right. know we was talking about that pops. I mean, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that, that, that pops. Yeah. Well, and mom was stuck at hat. home with the kids, barefoot, pregnant, cleaning the house, taking yeah. to Amanda don't want to be around. No. And her opinion really didn't matter. Ever, mm-hmm. ever. Yeah. Never. Unless he was in a good mood, her opinion. Unless he was in a good mm-hmm. mood. I love when women tell me I want I, I want that old school love, so you want him to hit you. Man, stop that. And then go, what you mean? And I always say, do you think your grandma picked a house? Mm-hmm. I say that to most people and they look at mm-hmm. me like I'm crazy. You think your grandma picked, your, picked a house? No. With your granddad? Mm-hmm. Just play it with her. Nah. You think your grandma picked the car she rode in? Nah. nah that, that you crazy. got way more freedom than she ever had. That's what makes this so hard. This is true. Mm-hmm. When that, look, look, moms didn't choose how many kids they had. Nope. Pop said, we having three kids. There wasn't yeah. birth control. Yeah. So right. they just had until they stopped having. And the only way to stop something is to stop doing it. So what happens yeah. is the yeah. relationship fails. Yep. But now mom and pop are staying together because they have to be married. Yep. Right. They yep. can't get a divorce. Amen. And he well, slapped the hug in. Uh-huh. He come home. You made pork chops again. Mm-hmm. Schmack. Wow, my socks laugh, not white. Come Smack. And in the Who whole time, this little Johnny's just standing there going... Watching, yeah, thinking this yeah. is okay. This is yeah. how it's supposed to go. This is the the family <laughs> life. Kevin Hawkins say the stairs was <laughs> was birth control. Crazy, mm-hmm. nah, but for real, you had to go yeah, sneak yeah. to somebody who was unlicensed, didn't know what they was doing, or lost their license. Those were the type of people who were. Yep. But but that's that old school love. The problem and the husband is, decides y'all moving. Y'all moving. Yeah. That's it. it. Yeah, you it, yeah you don't have a choice. That was back then, and that's you doing all that to get him to take the different. garbage out. Mm-hmm. I think that's a fair trade, huh? Yeah. Yep. I think now though it's starting to make a, tr- a turn though that whole stigma, like you said. Yeah. The if stigma we keep talking. is heavy. You if know what we I'm keep saying? talking. Like as soon as soon as you say therapist, a counselor, or something, you already have every. Ooh. Oh, yeah, what's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with you? But is it more because they're invested in your business or because they're concerned for your mental this, health? This is true too. This is true too. You got to evaluate who yeah. comes to you. So um, it is good to hear that a lot of us. Are going in that direction. Yeah. I, know I need to probably go. Bro, I'm telling y'all, so life. listen to me. I've been this I think this was my fifth week, maybe my fourth week. Yeah. We ain't even indulged hard. We just dealing with a lot of what's going on right now mm-hmm. and little pieces of my past mm-hmm. bring him in there. Cause I got a lot of childhood trauma. Mm-hmm. Right? Right. <clears throat> but when I tell y'all the clarity mm-hmm. of knowing that there's the potential it's gonna be okay, and a lot of things being to the forefront where it's mm-hmm. like, oh, that's, that's why I do this. Yep. Wait a minute. That ain't who I am. That's who I've been raised to be. Yep. You know what I'm saying? How do it feel? like? And let me know if I'm getting too personal. No, bro. You already know on the show. I don't care. But how does it feel to have someone evaluate you and have you see something that you never saw? Shout out to my therapist. I don't feel like that. Yeah? No. Mm. But nothing? No. So you know all the stuff she's saying. No, no, no. You said I don't feel to be evaluated. Mm-hmm. Well... I don't feel I guess about you. Find something good, have you. Judge free zone. That's that's what you have to look at it as. Okay. She continuously talks to me to make me give her the answers. So nothing she told you that you was like, oh, I ain't never think about that. All the time. So that's what I'm saying. How do you feel when that happens? Sometimes it's a light bulb. Yeah. Sometimes it's scary. So yeah. yesterday was my I had a session, and one of my she has me write. I call it a diary because to me it's what 14 year old girls do. 12 year old girls. Okay. okay. But it's a journal. I but agree. regardless of how I make fun of it, I'm doing it. Yes. Right? I see you, man. You got yeah. your diary, man? I love it. Us in the car. What color is it? So it's black and white. Composition. Oh, for good. Composition. So, so you can't rip off the five, page? I could, but I don't want to. <laughs> five five minutes. I'm supposed yeah. to do it three times a week. But we've now transitioned to reasons why I'm writing. Right? Gotcha. So she told me to write a letter to my inner child. Mm-hmm. And I sat there for like mm-hmm. 20 minutes. And it was just blank. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. Mm. So when I came back to her, she didn't attack me. It wasn't a problem. Hey, Ryan, that's that's a thing. You realize that, right? Yeah. You don't know how to talk to you. And I was like, no, I know how to. No, this is the core of who you are. Your inner child is the core of who you are that affects yeah. you for the rest of your life. Mm-hmm. And she was like, so I need you. And she gave me a technique. I ain't going to put a technique out there. Mm-hmm. She wanted me to do. And no lie to you, I... She told me to uh, stare at the blank screen because I do it over the phone, yeah. right. video chat. Um, but I, when she did, I went to, I closed my eyes to do it, and it was just like this black cloud came, like no lie. And all I felt was ugh, yeah. ugh. Why? Because you faced yourself. Ugh. It wasn't just because I faced myself. 
it was ugh. I don't want to touch that. I don't want to be a part of that, bro. But it was ugh. Why am I dealing with that? I'm past that, Aww. right? Yeah. Why am I going back to where I don't even need to be? Gotcha. So as I'm telling her that, bro, she walked me into doing it. Hey, I know you don't want to. Mm-hmm. Listen to what you're saying. You're literally saying that your past is disgusting and you don't want to address it, mm-hmm. which means you really need to address it. Oh God. She mm-hmm. said, so it shows that you put it in a box because all you see is this black cloud. Mm-hmm. She said, you didn't go through it she like you think you do. She went to the ocean do. and got your box. She went to the ocean and got my box with the key, bro. And Damn. said, Ryan, you got to look at the box. Gotcha. Ryan. What's in the box? So yeah. I did it, right? Yeah. <clears throat> and it was hard. Yeah. Yeah, because I felt vulnerable after that. Mm. How often do you sit and talk to your child and stuff? Like, seriously talk to your child and stuff. Apologize for things. Hold your your own hand. Situational. For the yeah, most, for the most you know part. what I'm saying? Like, in the moment when I need to address it. Yeah. Hey, bruh, we need to get over this. We gotta. Yeah. But but that's only temporary. You didn't fix it. Right. You just pushed you yourself over. through. Yeah. 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 And so I said to my younger self, I said, you no longer have to take care of these adults and people, bro. Oh, God, bro. Yeah. They're not your responsibility anymore. Yeah. You don't have to watch it. Like, I'm not intentionally saying these things because they sound good. Yeah. Once it started, that's how it came out. Mm-hmm. And she was like, Yo, you almost made me cry. That's the first time I almost cried in the session. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, why? She was like, because you said you was a grown kid taking care of adults. Bro. Yeah. I feel you on that. Bro. She was like, you, the, you, you, even in your age or now and then were old enough to realize you carried a lot of weight emotionally for your family. Mm. For a long time. And still do. And I, but now I'm starting to hand it back. Nah, that's yours. Yeah. Yeah. Before yeah. I got here. Yeah. Nah, that's yours. That's yeah. yours. <laughs> Yes. You dropped this. Oh, I ain't picking it up. Please pick that shit up. Or leave it there. Or leave it there. I, it's yeah. not for me. It's going to be there when you get back. <laughs> it ain't for me. It ain't mine. And so, bro, and I'm telling you, just, just this little bit I explained to you, I was just, I have a, I had a like a weird look on my face. She was like, what's wrong with you? I was like, I just feel awkward. I feel mm. vulnerable. Yeah. I say, yeah, I feel real vulnerable. Good. And she was like, that's what she said. Uh-huh. She said, that's good. That means what you said you meant. And that's something you needed to hear. You didn't realize you needed to hear. She said, you don't, you don't know how much you sat and hugged yourself, which you could tell you've never done before. Mm. Oh. Never? Sound crazy, huh? No. Never. Because I didn't. I ain't never. No, that's, that's so. some serious, yeah, serious yeah. stuff. And like, I congratulate you for that. I appreciate that. That is amazing for you. And I wish that more individuals would look at it as an opportunity to seek love within yourself because you can forgive yourself. You can it's just literally, hard. Yeah. yeah. You can heal yourself through your triggers, through yeah. your past. Right. And that's how you can level up and grow. Like every like people don't understand how much they put themselves in a box mentally. But it's, it's, it's so vast. Her favorite thing to say to me, nature versus nurture. Mm. Some things we naturally do. Yeah. Some, some things, things we've been taught for so long. Yeah. You know what she say to me all the time? Ron, why you got to carry such a heavy burden? Mm. Why you always got to be so perfect? Why does everything have to come out perfect? Because with ADHD, you drilled it into your Nah. Because I was raised. Ryan, take care of your sister. Oh, Ryan, don't mess that up. That Ryan, Ryan yeah. go get your cousins and make sure they don't get in trouble. Mm. Ryan, I'm leaving you in charge. You think Ryan, I... Oh, yeah. ADHD? That makes sense. Yeah. No, I think I, I think always said it. Because I think yeah. I was. Yeah. I think yeah. Because yeah. I remember in kindergarten, I used to make deals with my teachers. Like I'll be quiet all day if I stand on my desk and sing a song. <laughs> Beginning of class, I'll be quiet all day. Just so you can sing a song. So I can stand up there and do some song and dance in front of everybody. Like, <laughs> <could weirdo>. <laughs> just because I wanted to watch everybody watch me type of thing when right. I was younger. I was just like, oh, look at me because right. I have so much in my mind. Right. Right. Little exactly. <laughs> so my ADHD. <laughs> My, it, it, it didn't get this bad in my mind mm. until I got older. Yep. So like late teens is mentally when I had yes. the, but it's physically for me. If you've ever noticed, I talk with my hands. I'm always moving. Yes. My eyes are always looking around. I, I can't sit still. Mm. I can't. Mm. Even if it ain't nothing but the smallest little finger move mm. or blinking or smiling, not smiling. or mm. It's always something. I have to be doing something or reading or I have you to feel be, like you got to have movement. So as a child, my mother, this is one thing I can give her mad props for. It may have messed me up for a second, but it helped me be able to learn to sit like this and not let my need to move affect others. 
So when I was little, it started off with a minute. Sit on your hands for a minute. Mm. Don't move. Then it went to two minutes. Then it went to five minutes. Then it went to ten minutes. We get up to an hour. Mm. Ryan, you can look around. You are not to talk. You are not to move. Just sit there. Mm. It was torture. Yeah. Yeah, but when I got to school, I was able to sit in the desk and not have to like her and bounce around. and Because, you know, at home, I'm Tigger. Boom, 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 boom. Hmm? When you came and visited me at my house the last time you was there, I didn't yeah. sit down with you. Yeah. We played chess. Yeah. After chess, I was just bouncing around the house. That's all right, dude. Oh, yeah. something to do. Yeah. I got to be doing something. Hmm. That's why now, I. If I got to like do, I I'll pace. Yeah. I keep my, myself busy with all these businesses. Yeah. So that um, I don't sit there and go crazy. I'm not one of those people that. I mean, don't get me wrong. If anybody wants to throw $2 million at me and say, leave my son alone. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> However, shout out to Byron. He's been talking about therapy in the in the comments. Sure. So yes. I want to give him a shout out to you. for sure. That made him a better man and a better father too. Thank you. It's a big yeah. deal. It really is. And the thing about therapy is it's ongoing. Mm. So your therapist rarely gives you advice. They just give you what you're saying. Mm. They just give you the tools. Yeah. It's it's nice, man. It really is. Uh-oh. Mama. Shout out to my mama. She here. Mama. <laughs> she go get me. She yeah. here. Okay. How do the following things that I say affect mm-hmm. mental health care among minorities? Let's just stick well, with let minorities. Let right quick for that one. Okay. Y'all ready? Mm-hmm. So racism. How does that affect mental health care across, for minorities across America? It's very serious. Um, if you look at both aspects of it. If you look at, I mean, really, honestly, there's two aspects to this when we talk about okay. racism, black and white. Okay. Um, anything outside of that is not considered racism, but that's another topic. Mm, so okay. the black and white fiasco here, you have medical professionals now that are also Indian. A lot of them are Indian or right. Asian, but you only see preferences between black and white. Really? For the doctors? You know, they did that for my therapist. They asked me what if I want a male or female, and they asked me what nationality. What nationality. Mm-hmm. Because people are so... Let's just talk. Let me go back to the racism, because you know how yeah. I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we're talking about racism with providers, physicians, facilities, mm-hmm. um, against black people that come in as patients, there is definitely a prejudice. Okay? So one thing I've always taught my children, maybe this is trauma from stuff like that, is... Make sure you got on clean clothes when you leave. Make mm-hmm. sure you underwear, your drawers. Make sure you got on deodorant. Make sure you wash your face, brush your teeth. Mm-hmm. If something was to happen to you and you come into an office and you look like you've been or into a hospital, you look like you've been beat up. You got stains all over you. You they know what I'm saying? Because you, you ain't worried about you. They're not going to look at you yeah. like they would look at somebody that came in begging for help that was well put together. Yeah. Not saying too much, but right. with that being said, a lot of it is you'll see um, people in the black community do not take care of themselves as they should. Right? Obesity is rampant. Yeah. Um, diabetes is rampant. Right, yeah. Heart attacks, um, cholesterol problems, mental health disorders mm-hmm. that we've talked about. So doctors know this. When you come in, do they judge you based off your looks, your actions, or what's going on? Absolutely. Sure. Just like everybody else, just like you judge somebody when they come to you. Mm-hmm. There is no difference, but you're asking somebody to take care of your health. So when I go to my doctor's office, I present myself as such. I go in there, I make sure I look decent, I, I smell great because I want to get superior service. It's crazy you say that. So let me run you two stories that happened to me mm. at the doctor's office. Good, good. your turn. So I said two again. So look. <laughs> um, the bottom here. He said, go and get that all in show logo. That's going to be next. Okay. That's okay. going to be next. My boy. That might be one I might have to get. Yeah. So, I don't like the needles though. So, <laughs> I feel you. I'm at the emergency room. I had uh, stood up, and it was like a lightning bolt hit me in the head, and every time I stood up, I was all discombobulated, right? Yeah. I don't know what's wrong with me. Yeah. It wasn't vertigo. Sound like it, yeah. But it, it, I may have gotten a symptom from what I had, mm. right? But my equilibrium, keyword, was thrown off. Yeah, what? Equilibrium. Oh, God. Was thrown off, mm. and I could not focus. Mm. So I dragged myself to the car. I slouched oh, laying God. in the car to get to the, the emergency room. Doc, I don't know. I think I'm dying. What is this? Ear? Right? It was an ear infection. So, but I don't know what's going on. Scary. I have my phone. Now, how long have we been texting, bro? 
How long you been taxing? Mm. Forever. So mm-hmm. I used to have yeah. shout out to Verizon. I used to have a Verizon first phone. The, the sidekick. It was the first touch screen. It wasn't oh, a sidekick. No. It, the front was a touch screen, and when you flipped it open, it had a screen with a keyboard. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I have I at that time I was probably sending about fifteen hundred. No, it wasn't. It, it kind of was something like that. But so at this time I'm sending like fifteen hundred text messages a month. I'm mm-hmm. regularly mm-hmm. right. So I don't even have to look at the phone. So when the doctor come in, I'm texting. Mm. But I tell him, like, Doc, I don't know what's going on. I feel like I'm dying. The doctor, like, ain't nothing wrong with you. You ain't texting. You just came in for drugs or hospital note. Mm. I said, what? He said, how are you texting like that? And you trying to tell me you can't even balance. I said, Doc, I don't know what you're talking about. And I'm looking at him, right? You're literally just But texting. I'm still texting. Yeah. Yeah. He said, no, you faking. I handled the phone. It said, Doc, what are you talking about? Mm. How am I faking? Mm. Oh, 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 I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. That's nuts, bro. It's true, though. You should record it. More black place. women. Back then, we weren't doing that. Nah, more black women die during labor than any other race. Any other race. Yeah. It's black women that, that die in the hands of the, well, I mean, now some, a lot of it's gone due to like BBLs and, yeah. you know, yeah. surgeries yeah. and things like that. He getting something like that. A knee deal? He get a knee If you get a BBL, oh my god! Not a BBL. A knee deal. A knee deal. For my leg. Oh, you're gonna get a, t- a, a tall? Yeah, I'll be six four. Why? Uh, Cause three months. Well, three months. When you when you check out? Yeah. You you ain't you ain't gonna be. I'm gonna be six four. I'm no, you're gonna be six four. That call? Hell yeah! Hell yeah. <laughs> you better be six four. That get all the money. About to scare you up, huh? <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm genuinely asking. Are you really? No. no, no okay. No, that's his joke. No. Don't do that to yourself. No, 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 I, no. I, I, I beg. Please. No, no. Please stop doing surgeries. Please stop doing that to yourself. Extra surgeries. That's how Kanye West mama died. I'm just Breast saying. Implant. I'm just saying. Listen, I. I she wanted I, them bigger. I used to be. I'm still. Uh, see, I'm still a uh, fluffy, squishy is what I call it. Um, however, I used to be really overweight. I had diabetes, um, things like that. Yeah. I took my health seriously. Yeah. I started going to the gym, and I didn't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just using machines and running. I, I honestly was just in there, like you know what? If I lift this little weight, let's see what happens. Yeah. I started lifting weights. I don't do cardio. No, no. I, I, I do. I do like maybe 15 minutes of cardio yeah. in my workout, but I yeah. lift. But lifting is cardio if you yeah, do it right. Oh, yeah. So I learned how to lift and I've uh, been doing that and I'm telling you it helped me so much that I was able to remove diabetes off of my um, my health profile. Oh, that's beautiful. So lift, lift. Burr, 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 burr. Burr, burr, burr. I like to um, work burr. out that way. It's, a, it's an overall body. But everybody got their thing overall, and that's what will work right. for you. Yeah, for sure. All right, I'm going to ask you this one, Broke Dusty. My boy. How does the following affect mental health care among minorities? Poverty. Um, I wouldn't say poverty affects it because we spend our money on what we want. Okay. Um, before I keep going, Byron saying nothing wrong with a little fluff. Oh, she smiled, Byron. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <'cause laughs> keep it going. Fast. Yeah. The mind that fell off. But, no, I don't know. Um, I wouldn't say poverty don't matter because there there are some families and people who just don't have it. But I think um, if health was a uh, more popular, mm-hmm. I think we'll spend more money on it. If it was more um, monetary or it ain't nothing you can show benefits. off. You can't show off. Yeah, I got a better yeah, mental you health. Can't, you can't. Uh, that ain't on your swag. Yeah, you can't, be, you can't wear that. Yeah, that ain't a badge of honor. You got to talk to me for a while to see that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait till it ain't comes. None right. of it matters after yeah, that. Right. right. By, By that I time, you will. People are gonna be like, "Ooh, you said I went to therapy." They're gonna be like, mm. "I'm mm-hmm. telling you." Okay. People look at me like I'm crazy yeah, when I get excited so, to tell them. Yeah. So like, no, huh? I do it. It's that, but I think again, it's getting better. I think it's all getting better. Right. Like you said, the more we talk about it, mm-hmm. um, the more it's, it's coming out. So hopefully, money and poverty ain't the issue. And if anybody is having problems uh, affording mental health care, hit me up and I'll send you a link. Um, I think it was Bradley District. 
got a grant so that everybody can get health care, um, not just students, um, families yeah. as well of students. So if you're needing um, resources for free health care, please let me know. Um, we also want to work on something as well. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Sure. So that's yeah. dope. You know what I'm saying? That's really yeah. important. We got a non for profit we finna. Nice. Kicking over here to try to make it uh make it go that way. What about incarceration when it comes to mental health? What do y'all think? Uh, that, how does that affect Ameri- uh, minorities? Mental health. There's no incarceration. There's no room for mental health care in the criminal justice system. No, so there's survival. zero. Yeah. They don't care that you had mommy issues or daddy issues. You might get a little bit of therapy here and there just so that they can keep group calm, therapy. Calm yeah. while you're there. None of that matters. So a lot of it is repeat recidivism. People Mm -hmm. get out, they can't handle it, and they go right back. They can't get out of that mentality. So when they get out, yeah, exactly. So then if they're not getting assistance when they're out mentally, they're really not doing anything for themselves. Right. Everybody should be given counseling when they get out of a jail, when they get out of a prison. They they should be getting counseling while they're in there. Man, absolutely. But that's yeah. the easiest way to give it to them. But are we yeah. gonna are we gonna make a change yeah. and, and make make yeah. a make a law or something that that provides them with free medical? Someone medical has care? to die. Mm-hmm. Someone has to die, and that'd be the major forefront. But people have forever for it to become themselves. in the light, the, yeah. the, the 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 spotlight for Americans to go. Oh yeah, let's make that a thing. Yeah. Just like how the little girl had the lemonade stay in the Kankakee and they shut her down because mm. she didn't have a food license. Mm. They had they had to become something to put in the forefront. In order for their yeah, business. for to make that a law that kids can sell lemonade. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. It, it is. It is crazy. It is very crazy. But yeah, it's a, it's a big problem in our prison system because a lot of the people that are in there probably shouldn't be in prison or in jail. They should be in a psych ward. Yes, 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 gonna help. A lot of them. Ooh. And I want, I want to make sure I reiterate this while we talk in mental health. Your homies are cool. Your homies can do a lot of things to help you cope. Your homies can do a lot of things that help you rationalize, compartmentalize. Your homies aren't equipped to help get you through. Because as crazy as it sounds, I've been talking to you, bro, for probably 20 years, 20 years, you know, about things that stress me out. Yeah. I've been talking to this lady for four or five weeks and the steps we've taken in four or five weeks are bigger than what we've done for 20 years. And you've given me great advice, great help, all of that. It's not a shot at you. You don't listen, bro. I do. You listen to now because you're paying me. I pay, mm. I, if you pay me, you would have We going to talk about that off camera. Right, 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 right. That part. But it ain't just because I pay her. Yeah. It ain't nah, just because I... You hear me, though. It ain't just because I pay her. You don't think it's so? It's because the term she used, yeah. the language she uses, right. the, the steps she takes to walk through. Mm-hmm. And, and we talked about that in another show, though. That's, she's trained. That's, that's selective listening, though. It's, not, it's only selective because she knows how to talk to me. She's mm-hmm. trained to. Mm-hmm. Selective that's listening, true. bro. It's easy to say that when you want to be the teacher. But as the student, bro, if I'm a visual learner and you keep sending me audio books and I keep telling you, this ain't getting it. This a whole show though, y'all. Selective listening. It can't be selective if I don't learn that way. All right, bro. Okay. I said that last show. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Some people listen to what they want, bro. Yeah, Byron. I, I am new in. This is a person you rather hear that from. No, nah. I don't think me? it's that. No, nah, because what she either. what she brought to me. It's stuff I don't want to do and I rejected it. It ain't got nothing to do with what you want to do or not. It's tools it's, and skills. That's what I'm saying. They're, they're trained for that though. This so if you told me to go sit down and write in a journal, bro, and I told you no, what's your rebuttal? All right. You wouldn't but she trained, walk him through she it? She trained to walk me through it. See you it? That's the difference. She trained to give me enough light to at least attempt it. You know why though? It's because that's her job. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And as a homie... All you can do is give him your best wisdom from experience. Yeah. yeah. And so it's not that he don't want to listen to you. It's that the tactics that you're I using. I wish you could say it for me to get it perfect. It's different. Stop it. Bro, you she know. Hold his hand a little bit. You know how much That's easier. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm, and I'm not. And we, we already have this. Situation. You're his yeah. Home. 
we already had this established. Yeah. I'm not holding his hand. Mm-hmm. So since I don't hold his hand, you yeah. don't listen. Yeah. But if somebody holds your hand, you go listen. If I started holding your hand after today, it'll be the same. You'll you'll listen more. So you my dog, and I'm, I'm gonna give you a good 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 one. When you held my hand, when just hear me out. You held Where my was hand. This? Hear me out. Let me say it. <laughs> Remember we was having discussions yeah. about black mamas and how they have boy they treat their sons like boyfriends. Okay. Mm. And we was talking about the approaches of things. Yeah. So you're going to say you didn't hold my hand, but you know what it was? You patiently talked to me through the whole thing and never stopped. Mm. You walked me through the situation of what I needed. Even that day you weren't listening. I was. But you heard me. I wasn't giving you what. You said, I knew he heard me. Here's what you fell in to realize, bro. I'm talking to her the same way. I'm going through the same things with her. Right. She but she's continuously she doing a different way. That's, that's all, all that's I'm saying to you. Is. But but you know the difference was, bro, when you gave me that, you continue you call it hold my hand, but it wasn't. You continuously walked with me. Mm-hmm. So you didn't give me a chance to rebuttal it in my head because you walked with me. Right. I wasn't holding my hand. But that's what you do though, and that's something that that's something that we establish as homies though. Yeah. Like once you get the rebuttal, then I stop because you don't want to listen. You'll ask for advice, but then rebuttal it. So I'll be like, so, but right, bro. That's not, that's but that not, day, you didn't rebuttal. But as my friend, bro, yeah. you haven't realized that's how I learned. Mm-hmm. I just if I, 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 I am giving you the mental war that's going on in my head because yeah. you my guy. Yeah. And so for you, that's too much. And you stop. And you call that holding my hand. But in all actuality, you just sitting there in the storm finishing it out with me. See, that's, see, by so, the night, we ain't holding no hands, dog. <laughs> said, Paul. But, but do you get what I'm saying? So regardless of what you call it, you walk through the storm with me and you allow me to do my process. That was the first you time. You did a follow through. Yeah. That's what it is. We need to follow. Some people, I do too. Yeah. Um, And that's a problem with yeah. dating is that, you know, hey, I hey. can follow through. Um, sometimes. Why, though? I, you know, it's big for him. Why, it is. I'm going to let y'all have this. I'm going to slide out for a second. Bro. Right back. Uh, it's. It's the way that somebody is speaking or interacting that catches the attention of a part of the brain that allows us to comprehend Mm -hmm. and intake that information. If you can't speak to that part, then you're basically talking Chinese. It doesn't make sense to any human. So when you talk to people, there's a, a trick. Okay. When you're talking to them, you want to fill them out first. See where they are mentally. Okay. And if you're interested in helping them and really being a voice and talking to them or talking them through something, you'll listen to comprehend, not to give advice, solutions, or comfort. Right. You're only listening to comprehend. That's it. A lot of people think they do that, but they don't. They only think to give advice because they think somebody's coming to them for rhetoric advice. Right. Right. Sometimes if you just listen, you could walk somebody through an entire situation and you don't know you did it. By sense. by just breaking it down to the simplest form. If you know he learns differently and, and you can reach him by telling him, look, bro, I want you to sit down. I want you to write a, a, a sentence to yourself about how much you love yourself. Just do that for me. His asses don't listen, though. That's the only thing. Are <laughs> but then again, like I said, if you yeah. listen, you know, yeah, nah, that does come into play. Bro. It really does. But yeah. it's just, it's not anything personal either. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm sure that, like, he listens to you about a lot of things. I do. All it's, time. it's just different, yeah. different methods for, yeah. you know, different things. And it, it's just how it works for some people. Yeah. But that's why therapy is special because there's enough therapists, counselors, whatever, behavioral counselors out here for everybody. Mm-hmm. So everybody can get care. Everybody yeah. can talk to somebody. And it might be like, oh, I don't need help. Well, no, you do. That's why you're not progressing in life. You know, you, yeah. whatever's right. going on is going on because a lot of times we stifle ourselves. Plus, even in, with, with with my therapist, mm-hmm. I'm blessed that the first one is somebody I can relate to yeah. who yes. talks my language. Because yeah. I was prepared to go through multiple therapists yes. to find who I need. So I'll be honest, I didn't think an older Caucasian woman mm. would be able to relate to me as much. Mine's a right. middle-aged woman. I didn't think a young black woman would be able to relate to me as much. Mm. So I tried to find somebody my age whose uh, profile read as if I wrote it. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to find similarities because you want to speak to somebody that speaks to you. Like, you're very lucky. Yeah. And that I think that process scares a lot of people, too. So they're like, I don't want to have to go through finding somebody that understands me or listens to me because a lot of providers do not listen. Whether it's just a doctor. Right. I see people that are like, well, my doctor told me to go get this surgery done. Now uh, my insurance isn't covered and I owe $100,000 to the hospital. Well, why yeah. are you listening to somebody else about your body? This is true. This you is true. don't just follow medical advice. Yeah. I messed up. In my early 20s, I allowed doctors out here to perform surgeries on my back. Mm. Because I didn't have nobody tell me that that was dumb. You that don't was let nobody ever do surgery on your back. I let them go in there you twice. You go find a physical therapist twice. who says they can help you. They went into me twice. Ruined mm. my... My lower back. Because there's nothing you can do about the bone. Mm -hmm. You're just supposed to make the muscle around it stronger. But nobody told Shout me that when I was... Shout out to Chris Nobody yeah. told me that when I was younger. So I listened to doctors. Oh, you need to Because they know what they're talking about. Had me up at Riverside. And my children were like, what are you doing? You will be shocked how many older people get upset with me. Because they'll tell me their doctor said something. And I go, did you get a second opinion? Exactly. Did you ask someone else? Yeah. Well, no. I talked to the surgeon. And I go, oh. So if you talk to a well digger... Mm. About drywalling, mm. they gonna talk to you about well digging. Yeah, this is true. What they know about putting up drywall? And nobody knows your that's body. their language. Nobody knows your body but you. Right. Yeah. Nobody. And and also st start taking care of yourself now. Your hair, your skin. Mm hmm. What's the product called? Your line. Moon care. Moon care. Get y'all some moon care, man. It's important. Take care of yourself. You you matter. This is a a simple lifetime we're living, you guys. Whether you believe in uh, God, Allah, Yeshua, Messiah, Elohim, I don't, Allah, I don't care. Right. I really don't. As long as you believe in something, because after this, there's something. You know what? Let's skip to that. Let's jump to that. Mm. So you were telling me, um, we, we talked a little bit earlier with your pre-show mm -hmm. um, about your unpopular opinion. It seemed to be pretty intricate and a well thought out opinion. Very much so. So. I ask you, what is your opinion on life, um, our connection with the universe, and the afterlife? Before you start, Byron said, I know I'm copying me some moon care. And Teresa says, therapy is everything. It will have you looking at life and people with a different set of eyes. That is so true. So true. And it's so much easier to recognize when you're being harmed. If you are in tune with yourself, mm -hmm. you can make better decisions for yourself. Unhealed people make unhealed decisions and they do things based off of emotion or off of chance or opportunity. Right. So they make bad decisions because they are unhealed. They don't understand where that mentality is coming from. Just like repeated abuse cycles, repeated partners. Like if you keep meeting the same individual in different bodies, maybe it's you. Yeah. Maybe it's you. But why, Go is, that, see why someone. is that so hard for people to understand that as them? Because like, self-accountability doesn't exist in a lot of people. That is an ability you have to train yourself on. You have to train yourself to take self-reflect. You have to train yourself to meditate. You have to train yourself to look at yourself and pick yourself apart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to train yourself to do that. If you don't, then you can't, you can't mentally grow. You're going to be stuck in that zone of autopilot forever. And if nobody has ever truly held you accountable in life, I'm not saying... You did wrong, you got a whooping. Right? right? Mm -hmm. There's a big gap missing between you did wrong, you got a whooping, and you did wrong, you got a whooping, and we talked about it. Mm -hmm. You know why you got this. From point A to point Z, mm -hmm. this is what got us here. Yeah. Here's your part in it. Yeah. Here's their part in it. Here's what you ain't supposed to do. Here's what you're supposed to do. AKA, this hurt me more than this hurt you. There's a way to do that. I struggle with parenting teen sons as a woman. And I, um, I'm not one of those women that says, I, I, I'm a woman. I can raise men. No, it's hard. Why is it hard? Because men go through things biologically um, to touch base a little bit on what we were just talking about, the life mm -hmm. existence thing. We are living on a biological planet, right? Right. We are all biological humans. So the male body and the female body are completely different. Male testosterone, the what it does to your minds, what it does to your bodies, um, how it sways the feelings, the thoughts, mm -hmm. and everything. I can't understand mm -hmm. that. I come from a hormonal place. Yeah. Right. Yours is more abstract. Mine is different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when I'm trying to relate Ours to my sons, it. it's like I'm having a hard time getting that connection to them of what I'm trying to say. 
because of that disconnect. Yeah. So I find it hard to raise sons as young men because at a certain age, they're going to be like, oh, that's just my mom. Do the dishes. For sure. Okay. Because for the longest time. I'm going to get there when I get there. I'm going to take the garbage out when I can, when I want to. And then, you know, mom's just an evil being when she gets mad. So I want to make sure I say this to you and all the women listening. If you keep giving a man the same approach and it don't work, Mm -hmm. when you're trying to teach him a lesson or you're trying to chastise him, you're doing a disservice to both Mm y'all. You got to switch it up. That's what I got into. I got into redundancy, especially with my 12, yeah. 13 year old. To Didn't where, like, I, I would, tell you, yeah, you did. And I said, and now we back here. And now he's in the game <laughs> again. And I've said it 32 times and I'm ready to have a heart attack. Mm-hmm. And you know, that's something that I, I brought to both of their attention. Actually, this, this week or last week, I said, listen, we're not going to, I can't do this anymore. Right. You're affecting my health. Right. Like I'm getting frustrated. Do you guys, I don't want to hear my mouth. Right. Why do you want to hear my mouth? Who wants to hear me yelling? Oh God. I don't, I want to have fun. My experience, I'm not saying it's all males, but typically for most males, mm-hmm. you have to be hands on. I think so. You tell them to go clean in the beginning, mm-hmm. you got to go clean with them. Follow through. Thank I'm, you. I'm going to tell y'all why. I'm to me as an example. I don't see the difference between clutter and filth. Hmm. It's the same in my eyes. Mm. So if you create clutter, I'm creating clutter and filth. And now you mad at me. Because I'm. But I've said to you, hey, I can't see the difference, so can we just keep this clean? Mm-hmm. That's true. That's true. Ain't that pretty fair, bro? That is so... It's different, but it's fair. That is so true. Because I came to you. I know this is an issue I have. I don't see the difference. Mm-hmm. I do also want to say that therapy has taught me to give other people grace. Yeah. Mm, thank and this you. little time, because as I'm looking at my faults and seeing how mm-hmm. I need help and work, it's easy to see it in others, especially because I'm analyzing things I never paid attention to. Mm. Like I was talking earlier, it's a question I have here and I'm going to ask that now. Okay. So an aggressively talking person uses this statement. I'm just passionate about blank subject. That's why I'm so loud. What does that say about their emotional maturity? Well, they can't regulate their emotions very well. Because right. emotional maturity is being able to regulate your emotions in a state of reaction, emotional reaction to be exact. Mm-hmm. So what that means is that your emotional maturity level is your initial self reacting to a situation. Mm-hmm. And that speaks volumes about who you are as an individual. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people go off their first reaction, which is usually jealousy, mm-hmm. rage, uh, it's negative, all negative. They're all negative mm-hmm. emotions because they don't ho- oh. require you to be responsible about your action. Self, it, yeah. it doesn't. You, it's have, you did it, yes. not me. So instead of pointing fingers, we need to start pointing thumbs. We need yeah. to start saying, "Hey, yeah. if so and so said that, and so and so said that, and so and so said that about me, maybe it's me." Or at least take the time to see where they get it from, because mm-hmm. they may be wrong, but there may be just enough right in there for you to tweak something. Self-reflection is key to, I'm telling you, mental health. Learn to meditate. Um, emotional maturity is something that uh, a lot of people believe they have yeah. until they meet somebody that is emotionally mature. Which I was telling, I was telling my brother mm-hmm. before you got here. I was in a situation recently, a dating situation, where um, a guy pointed out me, my my unhealed trauma. He said, I am not going to sit here and argue with you and every past that you was ever with. Oh, God. He was like, you're not going to do that with me. Oh, God. You go to somebody else with that. He did. Shit. He said, critically For think real. on what I just said For and real. then you get back to me. It took me three days to talk to him. Get the fuck off. Three on. days. That's how, that's how stubborn I am. Mm-hmm. But it took me three days to get out of my own head and say, yo, gee, you was right. My bad, dog. I realized I... I, he was arguing with past me. I literally, part of the reason I'm in therapy mm. <laughs> was because I saw it myself. Yeah. Mm. I was called upon it. Mm. No, nah, you wrong. Mm. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. And I literally did it. As soon as I, mm. hey, my bad. Mm. And then she told into me for another 20 mm. minutes. Yeah. Wasn't nothing I could say. Nope. Mm. Nothing I could do. When she finally bro. stopped, you'll be listening, bro. My bad. <laughs> you'll be listening, bro. My bad. 
You know what, bro? Sometimes the same things that we have problems with, Mm -hmm. at one point, that's what got me through. What you mean, bro? Okay. Say that. What you mean, bro? Remember, yeah. So remember how passionate I used to get, how loud I used to get about the small. You bring up LeBron James, yeah, and and me and you homies, we not even fighting, and I'm go to ten. But that same defense mechanism when I was homeless is how I talked to myself to get me through things. Mm. That same defense mechanism is what I used to make people feel bad for me Mm. so that I could have a place to stay and wash my butt. Say that. Mm. So at some point it was time to get rid of it. But that's what I knew. I'm not saying it's who I am, but in that moment that was a part of who I was. And it's hard to let certain things go. Why? Why? Because it's, it's it saved me for so long, and because your instincts tell you to go revert back to survival. Yeah. So same thing for yeah. me. I've had to. I've been on mine since I was sixteen. So I've never had parents tell me don't have back surgery. I never had grandmothers, right. aunties, uncles. I never had cousins. No. Nah. So it's just been me. Right. Right. So that's one of those things that I had, I've been you know learning through time too. Is like those survival tactics I've learned through life. Which I'm not proud of things that I've done in my life, but I've survived. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm here, obviously, and my kids are, well, a couple of them are, right? We're right. missing one, but, you know. But you don't have to survive anymore. You I, can thrive. That is the difference that I'm, I'm learning through reprogramming myself is yeah. that I've existed for so long without living. Mm. When my daughter died. You went through a tough time. Uh, and for, for, uh, until I started tattooing in 20, she died in 2021. Until early 2023, I, I just died. I was slowly becoming death. I was in. I didn't look well. I didn't feel well. I was putting on a facade, a show. I right. was going through relationship problems that were just extremely volatile. And it got to a point where it was just like, okay, I'm either going to die or I'm going to have to live. And... The two boys need you to live. Yeah, and it was really hard to pull myself out of that because... It's a habit. You get into these habits and you don't realize it or maybe you do, but it's not significant enough until it's a problem, right? By mm-hmm. then, what are you supposed to do? By then, and people say, well, that's just how they are. That's just who they are. But you know how that person is. You know how they are. No, no. They could be better if you learn, if you love that person. Right. We talked about this too. If you mm-hmm. love them, if that's your friend, if that's your homie, yeah, you need to yeah. learn to communicate yeah. the way that they yeah. communicate because Senseless friendships for what? For what? So what are we doing? Too old. Yeah. I I I'll give you a, another one. So back in my heavy drinking days, mm-hmm. there weren't many people outside of elders of my family who were like, "Yo, you need to quit drinking like that," mm-hmm. and talk to me through it. Right? Mm-hmm. right. Now with growth, as I slowed down and I quit drinking like that, and that time you came to me and was like, "Bro, we was all worried about you. I'm glad to see you on the right mm-hmm. path." Now, somebody who don't hold himself accountable, who didn't have emotional maturity, will lash out at you. Right. How come you didn't tell me? Why didn't you tell me? What kind of friend are you? But me, with the emotional maturity I had in that moment, I took that as honor. I'm on the right path. Thanks for giving me another light down this path mm. to show me I'm on the right path. Because I'm not your responsibility. You didn't have to give me what you just gave me. Beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was an appreciation of you. Thanks, dog. Now that is a beautiful thing to have that kind of a friendship where you guys can thank each other like that. All the time, for sure. A lot of people, a lot of friends don't do that. They don't thank each other. They don't show appreciation. They don't love each other. Because they're in competition. Mm-hmm. That was what I was just going to say. Ego. It's not weird, bro. It's, I need it's you. It's testosterone. It's, it's, it's ego. It's, no, it's a human, bro. It's a human we were life. blessed enough to be raised by women um, to give. No, nah, hear this, bro. You're going to understand this. In the wild, almost all males compete. Everyone. All animals, all of them compete. This mind, go get yours. And if you got what I want, if I can take you, I'm taking I'm that. Yeah. So what we doing is unique. <laughs> we're the ones who are weird. Because we smart enough to learn, bro, we could be a community and we could be stronger if we le- rely on each other's strengths right. and hold each other accountable because you look at things in a life I'll never look at. Mm. No matter how much I try, I can't. 
Different. Vice versa. And that's why when certain situations come up, hey, bro, I just need to run this by you. You got 10 minutes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't. And you're not going to tell me what I want to hear. I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear. We're going to be brutally honest. We ain't going to be disrespectful. Right. But we're going to be brutally honest. If you was wrong, hey, bro, for why I see it, you was wrong. But if you was right, yeah, fuck them, bro. You was right. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> Quick. <laughs> I, if y'all was both right, hey, yeah. they was right, you was right. They was wrong, you was wrong. The biggest thing you can do for people within your, your immediate community and family is, one, build up their self-esteem. For sure. Two, listen. That's it. Com- listen to comprehend. That will carry a friendship so far. If you love somebody... I don't care what it is. It even, even if you feel jealousy when they're saying something, you don't have to be that friend that makes a face or secretly carries animosity. Yeah. You can train yourself to love through that. But that's something that you as a person need to address. Because if mm-hmm. I need to be jealous of you, mm-hmm. it's not you. That's why I say that shit weird. Bro. It's not you. Mm-hmm. I know some really innocent people, bro, who are just naturally jealous. Jealous people. Not that they jealous people, they've never had the opportunity. You've been blessed enough to have opportunities, bro. See, that's on them now. It is. And that's their problem. That's something they need to fix. Weird ass. I no longer address grown men who show jealousy to me. I used to check it. That's why I never understood. Why I don't even it. acknowledge it now. Because that's. I never understood why. <laughs> Byron said, no, I'm right not to listen to you. But that's something. Uh, they got to deal with. Yeah. So if you come in here and you show me dress, and I go, man, I ain't never had no dress, bro. I ain't, I ain't even, don't address me. That's for me. All I'm doing is throwing my insecurities at you. Wow, for what? They already beating themselves up. They in their yeah, own turmoil. For you to tell another man I, in any way to show them you jealous of them. That shit weird, bro. You I ain't going argue it. Should, you know what it should do? It should motivate you to do better. If you feel jealousy or hate or anything beside, uh, uh, t- towards anybody for any situation, instead of doing that, you should turn it on yourself and you should support yourself. Especially when it's somebody giving, giving game. Absolutely. Yeah. Ga- there is game you know out saying? here for free. You but we will not man. accept it, right? You because I want to do it my way you to be and I still want to get what you got on your road. That's right. shit weird, bro. Yeah, that's weird. When somebody giving you game and you jealous of the person giving you game. All the time, bro. Stupid. The reason the that this was That's so weird, cool bro. is that I, my mentor, um, you want to shout out your mentor? Hi, Sam. Sammy, Sam. Shout out. She is the woman who allowed me to stare her down for 60 days. I did nothing but watch her tattoo for two months straight. Didn't even talk. Just let's just watch. And, um, we wanted to do a podcast called tip for tat where we tattoo and we talk about topics. I should do it. So yeah. when I was, I ran to the shop to pick the stuff up. She was like, "This is a sign." Yeah, y'all might as well. We encourage. Look, I will definitely <laughs> come back. It helped. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Her symbol yeah. is music notes. Come on now. So when I showed her this, she was come like, "Oh wow." So I said, "What's up, Sam?" Yeah. Slide on. Yeah. She's uh, she's dope. She uh. She's one of those humans that I was able to go to, and I literally, because she was tattooing all over me. Okay. She was my tattoo artist. I've been okay. going to Rogers for years. She was my tattoo artist, and she was just like, yo, I know you hurting right now, dog, but you're getting tattooed, like, constantly. It's too much. She, she didn't stop me. She, you know, she's just like, come on, I'm going to do it. And then when I went to her, I was like, look, I need to do something, or I'm going to die. Yeah. I'm like, I'm really going to just die. I need to find a, a passion. And I don't have any skills that are useful. I said, unless somebody wants That's to have a honesty. conversation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I don't have any skills right now. Let me let's figure it out. But you say that, like, that's not a skill. To be the ability to talk is yeah, a skill. But it can only carry you so far if you don't have something to give people. People don't listen. So if I could. Ah, people don't listen. If I could talk to people all day, but guess what? So How people. many of them are going to listen? But yeah, so, I, I'm going to tell you this. this as a true. person who talks, mm. I talk. So. Mm. People <laughs> listen to you, though. But they listen to me. they like you. Mm-hmm. I was just They like s- your curls. And you happy. And you a good host. That's right. But you're loving. Oh, you be. Oh. You be like, you just almost made me blush. Be. 
Just be. But that's what I was going to say. I talk inspiration. Ryan is just a great guy. So if you look like you down, I'm just going to come talk inspiration to you. I love that. Ryan is just a great guy. Your your light skinned cousin, the big guy. I'm gonna give a shout out to my mama and God. He's just a great guy. <laughs> shout out to Pops. Soon as I be like, be honest, they be like, nah, that's some bullshit. Man, fuck broke dust. It's your approach, <laughs> bro. <laughs> it's your approach. But no, nah, I don't think it's the approach. I don't people get mad at honesty, bro. They do. Nah. They do. They Cause do. I can be honest in the nicest way and they still gonna they get do. mad. People they get, still gonna get mad, bro. They don't receive it, is what it is. I could be like, I can you, be like, hey bro, hey bro. You're blunt, blunt, bro. Mm. You can be blunt or you can be sugar cut. Nice. Me. They ain't gonna like it. Give us an like example. Okay. Don't get no names. Give an example. Okay, let me see. Let me try to give an example. We'll name that person Ryan. Let me see. If I said, "Hey Ryan, I need you to get these rebounds, bro. You're yeah. the biggest dude out here. I can't guard the biggest guy. Can you please get these rebounds? Run? If I shoot it, just run and grab the rebound." Either, whether you took a fist or not, that's on you, right? Right, right. That's true. That's the polite way, right? Right. Broke dusty way. Hey, man, get your ass down and grab. When the baller hit that bitch, grab it and get it back to me. Right. Mm. So remember we was talking earlier. Yeah. And I was telling you as your friend. Yeah. Oh, no, you were telling me yeah. as my friend. Yeah. When I, no matter if I'm that overexcited Ryan talking about LeBron. Yeah. Or if I'm call Ryan and. Life is hard, mm-hmm. and I'm just processing as I'm talking to you. Yeah. It's the same to you. Yeah. Right? You, it just, my volume tells you where I'm at. Right. It, right. It just, it just give me an indicator on your feeling on the subject. Okay. For you, yeah. I have learned the reason I can move. That's just you being you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You talk harshly and bluntly mm-hmm. to everybody. But you don't mean it that way. That's how you play. That's how I talk, bro. That's how you play. You that's, are very playful, that's how I talk, and play. people think you serious. And I'm and you not. not. <laughs> <laughs> and you not. See, I don't and, and people serious, think I'm, I'm funny, but I'm serious. I, I'll say some I'm stuff and they'll laugh. Yeah, but that's, like, that's different. I'm though. like, I'm yeah. so serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's like, different though. That's I'm good. Good. Yeah, they think I be playing and I'm yeah, yeah, serious. Yeah. Yes, mess with my. I think you so. I think you kind of slow, and they be. And you just. And I'll be looking at him like. Bro, Dead ass. I, I, I was kind of. I was like, wondering if you had a Y, and you a little extra one in there, a little X, X, Y. Then you yeah. that? No, put no you extra. in the jacket. They go yeah. come take you in that little milk. The little grippy socks. Yeah. yeah. You can get some grippy socks. Crazy. Oh, I can say something like he can say the same thing. And I can bad. say the same. Why the fuck? <laughs> Why did you just? Why the that? fuck broke Dusty said we can't wear grippy socks? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, what? Yeah, man. So I, I don't know. I just think honesty is the. It is. There is, it is. Is the basis of it that is. for me? I've learned that, and it it just depends on the situation. Byron just said you've been this dude since middle school. Since middle school, bro. But again, like everybody, you have to remember your audience. But in all honesty, bro, I, the true difference between me and you, I talk to each person how they talk. Yeah. I talk to you how you talk, so I get real relaxed. I talk real reckless with you. When you get going, I do it with you. She talks real proper. She is everything's a duck in the order. Her ducks are in order. No, that's so, bullshit. So when bro. I talk to her, I present that to her. That's some bullshit. Because How? I'm pretty sure she can turn up and talk like broke dusty. She everybody can. But bro. that's not her natural that, speech. It ain't got nothing to do with natural. For me, I think it's it's where honesty is it depends on the so situation. So I'm gonna tell you there's a difference in people, bro. Okay. There's the common person who talks how they talk. There is the more educated person. Who talks to someone how they listen. Yeah, it's called um, controlling the situation. So that's it's key. It's called some bullshit. It is. <laughs> it might be. It However, I learned. It is. My, my normal vernacular, I cuss every two seconds. I have, I'm, I'm real ghetto. You could be you on your show. However, when I'm discussing topics that mean something that I'm trying to convey a message to, that I'm mm-hmm. working, I'm going to give you. Right. This aspect of me, no, right. because I want you to give me that aspect of you. So if I came in here ghetto and loud, we'd I'm be giving you that. up in here. But when we're discussing topics that I want to get a certain reaction from y'all and from mm-hmm. people watching, yeah, I'm gonna make sure my energy exudes that. Yeah, because energy is infectious. You're right. 
you will react to it. And I love that you said that you could speak to people the way they speak because that's mirroring. Yeah. It's a tool. It's actually a survival tactic. So you might have to do it as a child. That's why people trust me because they really just trust themselves. And you're just mirror- mirroring yeah, there. I just give yeah. you what you gave me. Very smart. And if I love you as a person, mm-hmm. regardless as a friend, uh, my woman, a relative, then I'm going to give you what you show me. When you show me you need something, that's what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. How many times I'd have popped up on you? Yeah, bro, you've been real quiet. Show me you need me over here. What's up? This is true. It's, it's just the way it worked, though. But I'm blessed enough to be a communicator. Like, but I could be like, but, hey, man. Hey, what the fuck wrong with you, bro? <laughs> and it's and, the and same. But for me, that works. You, right? It's the same, it's yeah. the same thing. It's the same to you, it's the same thing. But mm-hmm. to them, it's not. It's not. And fuck to them. me, but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, no, really, truly, it's it's it, if you if you're one of those people that you don't yeah. really care about how you affect others and your yeah. energy affects them, then continue saying that that's your authentic self and that's you being real. Right. But in, in reality, when you go around certain people, you're going to tone that down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're going to tone certain yeah. aspects down because sure. not out of really respect, but it's because you you pl- you know your situation. Right, right, right. For sure. That for makes sure. a difference. Even, it is respect, even for if sure. it's self respect. That's I'm true. Not, self respect. I'm yeah. finna knock. I'm not coming over here and ain't nobody hearing me. Sure. Mm, that's for true. Sure. Regardless if it's ego or respect or whatever word we want to use, it um, is a form. Yeah. Of, of respect. You're absolutely right. Yeah, yeah I stand corrected. You're right. And, and the whole world, the whole world can't be wrong. Mm. This is true. You if know what I mean? If it's everybody, if, it if, might be you. If, man, it's been a few times. It's been I, me for sure. I think it's me. No, <laughs> it's me. That three day timeout. Mm-hmm. I. Uh, yeah. When I realized that it was me, I got so mad at myself. I looked in the mirror. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "You let somebody tell you about yourself. You let somebody tell you about yourself." But and those, he was right. Those are my type of people. But it, yeah. it, it, it's 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 real, and I think that that mirror can be cold blooded, right? But it's, it can also be beautiful. It's yeah. crazy as it sounds, bro. When you have ADHD mm. and your brain go a thousand miles a minute, we process so much so fast, fast mm. right? Sometimes it get caught in the processing because mm. yeah. you would call me on myself. I'd be like, "You right." Ooh, that, like, I don't like how that thing is sitting out here humming. Mm. Come right back to you, and you still talk about the subject. Yeah. I'd have forgot that whole part we just talked about. Better do it again. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and you'd be like, "See, <laughs> am I lying?" You'd be no, like, I "See, every time." And I'd be like, "Oh man, if we, I forgot." Yeah. Memory is yeah. hard, yeah. and da- da- dating is uh, is really hard with ADHD. I swear yeah. to you, because I've had I had the guy tell me, "You just forget everything." I'm like, "It's not on purpose." Because I was wondering how tall was Jesus at the same time that I was working, at the same time that I was taking care of my, my son's football registration, yeah. at the same time I was thinking yes. about what I had to do later that day. So it's not my fault that I forgot to pay that dang bill. You know how many times I didn't text you? five, nine and you, a half, baby. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You know how many times I didn't text you, bro, and I never text you, pulled it up? Oh man, I forgot I was playing that Solitech game, mm. and it's gonna kill me if I don't finish that game right now because I thought about it. Because yeah. I ain't gonna get back to it if I don't never. Mm. What you say? Somebody yeah, I can do that for you right now. Yep. Yeah. Two I days later, to- I know I text Mitch. I know I did. Yeah. I know I text because you ain't broke Dusty off the show. I'm ain't going back to calling. Ain't, even, ain't even, bro. Ain't even start writing the message. Did mm-hmm. I look? Then I go to get mad at you. Hey, bro, <laughs> I, I ain't heard from. Why you ain't even wait? There ain't nothing here. There ain't nothing. That's true. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? DJ Hall attitude changed. What's up, bro? But to you, you got what's up, bro. But for me, it's a whole two day progression that got me here. And that's because (laughs) that's another superpower of people with ADHD is our ability to overthink and overanalyze will actually be protective instinct. So people with ADHD, they think that like back in the day, they were great hunters. Yeah. They were great gatherers. Because they think about every aspect before mm-hmm. it ever happens. So imagine being on a wheel and constantly oh, like going me. like this. You can't stop your wheel, but you got to go to sleep, right? That wheel's still going. Our wheels still go. When we wake up, it's like, boom, 30,000 things. There are times do. I'm over my lady house and I'm about to go to sleep. And I literally get up to go use the bathroom and come back and say, hey, I'm going home. Mm. And she say, huh? Why you going home? Because I'm not going to sleep and you mm-hmm. finna be up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh-huh. And I don't want to do that to you. And I'm I going mean, home. Yep. I need to go home and be with my thoughts right now. Because sometimes it, that's what it takes to work it out. Because yeah. you've been putting that thought off for 32 days. 
and mm. you've been harping on yourself and forgetting it. So now that you thought about it and you at her house, you're like, I gotta go because if I lose it this time, I ain't coming back. <laughs> it's or, gone. I'm so bad, like, bro, that's why in the middle of the night I get up and go drive. Yeah. Because mm. driving stimulates so much of my brain and it Ooh. stops me from overthinking. Mm. Music so, doesn't for me. So I got music yeah. going, windows yeah. down. And I'm going through, I like to go where there's traffic. Not where I can't Working. move, this does it for yeah. me. but I got to move through. I'm in heaven. Mm. Like a road trip, I'm in heaven. This does it for me. So when I'm tattooing somebody in my station, a lot of times I, I use the term ink therapist a lot. Okay. Um, but it's true. I'm a therapist. When people sit in my booth, they never That's just sit down and say, Hey, I'm having a wonderful day today. Put this smiley face on my ass cheek. No, it's a story. <laughs> it's a reason. Right. And I'm not saying people with tattoos have a lot of trauma, but I only I have like over 40. So, I mean, I'm, I have a lot of many baggages. Right. Um, but with that being said, when they sit down, I like to give them an experience. Facts. I don't want to be your best friend, but I want to be somebody that you can sit down to for the next hour or two. You're going to get art on your body mm -hmm. and you're going to get knowledge, wisdom, and education. Because with me, an interaction has to be purposeful. If it's yeah, yeah. not, then why? Why? And I had yeah, a man yeah. teach me that. I had a man teach me that. Like, wh I had a man ask me, well, what purpose do you serve for me? Mm. <laughs> what do you bring to the table? <laughs> Excuse me? Why are you here? How dare you? What, what do you mean? You Pur what, what purpose do I serve? You told me It's to crazy yeah. how women look at that. Man. But uh, every man has to have a purpose in a woman's life or he's not we there. Can't, we can't, can't, even, you his best we can't even get to the point so they can ask us that. We ain't going to make it that that long. No. You got to come to the door or something. But it's, man, and that's, that's, that's the problem. That is that here in lies the, the exact issue is well and then of course that causes a relationship. Now you're in a tumultuous relationship and you guys are arguing about the stupidest things. Honestly, truly, if if more people were up front, like I said, I had a man teach me that. What purpose do you serve when he when a if a human, I don't care if a man or a woman looks you in your face and says, Well, what purpose do you serve for me? No, for what you really? gonna say? Oh, me for sure. Oh, I just come here to give you conversation and help open uh, your was mind. Like, I was like, fam, I just want to be soul food. <laughs> Dang. Like, I just, I thought I was getting away from my kids. Thought I was going to get a free meal. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of pain. Who knows? Yeah, well, yeah. well, that's still TBD. Um, but that simple changed it's my true. outlook. Because then it's I started true. looking oh, at my yeah. intent with you. Mm -hmm. My intent with you, uh -huh. my intent with anybody I interact with. Uh -huh. I said, what purpose do you serve? Oh God, why the fuck are you here? When y'all said, when you, you said send questions, I negated that. You know why? Because it was on my list 32 days ago that I didn't get to, right? Mm -hmm. So when you hit me with your topics, my brain was all ready to focus. I was like, Brian, you got me. Because you gave me I you. forgot. Yeah, I said, okay, we got this. And I was able to shoot that off. You were able to shoot it back. And it made sense and it was purposeful. Mm -hmm. Because I wasn't going to waste your time. That's the whole purpose of the pre-show. Most people don't understand. I'm not trying to waste your time. No. And I, the purpose of your episode is to highlight you. Mm. I can talk. I, we, as you see, we, we went talk. off topic 80 times. I, I can it. talk. That's <laughs> what I like to do. <laughs> but I need to set it up so that you can talk. Yeah. And what we talk about is something that you can push for and you can drive so the show isn't carried by him the show isn't carried by me yeah. it's carried by you yes and, and you did say that I when we first started conversing I and I, I love that I aspect I because um, talking about some of these topics are very very touchy yeah. Yeah. yeah and I feel like if it's more common then you know we can't save everybody we know mm -hmm. that as humans if we could we would save everybody. Good, wholesome people in their hearts. If they, could, man, that I can't believe but that that's person not your did purpose. that. It's not our purpose. Yeah. So we need to make sure that the connections that we are making are purposeful. Because stop wasting people's time. Oh God. It, it don't matter if it's a, a, a sexual relationship. Mm -hmm. It's anybody. Stop wasting people's time with your dumb conversation. Your, I mean, I'm sorry. So a lot of the stuff on y'all uh, social media just be dumb. I was telling Bro Dusty before. Stay in your tax bracket. Who cares what Cat Williams said? Who cares um, what Orlando Brown said about the Ushkosh from Ushwash? Who cares? So it's funny you say that. So sometimes we get people who want to come on and like, are we going to talk about current topics? And me and both of you usually look at each other because genuinely, 
We don't care. <laughs> like, we may talk about yeah, it outside yeah. of here, but when I tell you it's like, he talked two minutes on it, I talked two yeah. minutes on it, hey, did you see the game? Blah, blah, blah. Right, we like, got, we move. We or did you see this the highlights? Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Right, right. It's because, like if you each other highlights. Yeah. Why, why do we want to spend eight episodes 50-50 talking or Cat Williams talking no. or trying to do what everybody else is doing? That's already being done. Already being done. And, and that may not be what Joe Stroll point is. So even though you wanted to talk those, because sometimes we'll do it. Absolutely. We'll literally go find um, current events and then we come on here and the people be like, oh. You find out they really don't know nothing yeah, about what they read. Oh. About it, yeah. oh. Yeah. Don't know nothing about oh. what they or, read. Or that ain't the topic they wanted to yeah. talk about. So it doesn't matter. But in the pre-show, I asked you what you want to talk about. Yeah. And you didn't give me, so I'm giving. I can only give you now what I think is a current event. And I think that's too, it. When, uh, people, when they bring it up too, I think it's easier for us to do that. Yeah, yeah, because because you're well, you're hoping that the individual you're talking to has done enough research on that topic. The problem is, is people do a lot of this and skimming. Yeah. So one thing that I I, I really wish that people would stop doing, and I'm going to say this right into the camera. Please stop talking about subjects you know nothing about. I'm trying to tell you. Give I'm us some examples. Tell you. Before y'all get it, give examples. Don't come at yeah. people, give examples. Humans in this world tend to open their mouths about things that they know nothing about. So, for instance, a lot of it's opinion based, right? People take their opinion for a fact. Okay? Yes. That is the problem. Yes. Opinion based That's why I don't talk on the started. internet like I used to. It, yes, I've, I've had to learn that as well. Um, but that's what it is. It's opinion-based yeah. facts. So when you come back at them and you're like, wait a minute, Mm-mm, I know more than that. Now, that's not what it is. Let me tell you, mm-hmm. they get salty. They get mad. I put they up a post that says something like, uh, it's your fault. the universe is going to end in some, some, some days because I watched a couple documentaries on it and I've learned on it. Oh, universe is going to end in so many days. No matter what happens, mm-hmm. when that sun implodes on itself, that's right. it's a wrap. It goes cold. We done. Mm-hmm. What are you going to do with your time in between? Ah. Uh. I feel da 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 da. Mm. I just told you that all the scientists. What are who you deal going with to this? Do? Yeah, they, they say this. They said. I didn't say this. Yeah. Go tell them how you they feel. There's two reasons that people do that, though. One is a theory like that would debunk religion. This is true. Definitely. The Christians be mad. It, it would debunk religion. They be mad. And science Shout based. Out to Christians. Science Don't get us based. Killed now. You'd already started with one group. <laughs> Them little dinosaurs that we keep digging up uh-huh. might be yeah. factual. Yeah. But it's true. So here's yeah. another thing that I did want to talk about since you brought that up. Mm-hmm. Prepared this. So NATO issued a warning to everybody saying, hey, be prepared for war. Okay? NATO. If you don't know what NATO is, it's N A T O. Look it up. Okay. Um, they're not predicting today, tomorrow, but what they're saying is that a war is inevitable and they have been preparing us for this. They have systematically been preparing us for war over time. And if we look at patterns in our society, mm-hmm. there's always been a war. There's always been a pandemic. There's always been an endemic. With COVID, we, ha- COVID, we haven't had an endemic yet. Not only that, or we are coming up on an election year. Mm-hmm. What happens? Do an, are enough people educated? Can you and your family make it 36 hours with no sun or well, sun, but no power, no functioning anything, no cars, there's no cell phones, nothing. Can you and your family survive 36 hours with zero? If you could vi- survive the first 36 hours, you have a good chance of survival. Now, this isn't just no to be Facebook flippant. for 36 hours. I know, so sad. You TikTok for 20 minutes at a time. But that's that's <laughs> precisely what they're preparing us for. So whether it's a we are on a biological planet. Okay, we live on yeah. Earth. So what what happens to your body when you're sick? You your body tries to purge it, right? Mm-hmm. The Heats Earth, up. the humans, we're polluting it. So the Earth is going is purging itself of us. That's why we have natural disasters. We have a whole bunch of stuff. They actually found that time is moving a lot quicker as well. So all of this stuff is being affected around us, and a lot of the times people aren't thinking that this is actually going to happen in their lifetime. Preparedness is everything. If yeah. you cannot survive. That's for a deep. few hours and days, you will not survive this planet. After a civil war, after a, 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 a biochemical war, whatever, you cannot survive. So do you have solar power flashlights in your home? Do you? No. Nah. Do you? No. Do you have extra batteries and candles? Do you I have do. food storage? 
I you have enough canned food. For sure. Okay, for 36 good. hours for sure. Good, because toilet paper ain't going to matter. That's going to be the least of your problems. The least of your problems is going to be toilet paper and water, my friends. If anything, get you a water collection barrel, get you some water filter straws, because you're going to drink out of the Kankakee River like everybody else is. Mm. Okay, you can't filter that unless you have a filter system. As we seen, just when we had that big snowstorm, what, a mm -hmm. week or two ago, mm -hmm. there was no waters. What y'all do with all them waters? Yep, bought them up. Where's all them waters? Y'all drink them yet? Bought all them motherfuckers. That's if you right. ain't drink them waters, I drink some I water drink now. Drink them. For sure. My, my kids go through them, but the, it's the truth. Yeah. And, 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 and I it's know the same it's thing scary. with the pandemic with the toilet tissue. Huh? Hey, all they said was, hey, we might be out of tissue. Next yeah, thing you know. It up. <laughs> anything that resembled toilet tissue. Uh, uh, Phoenix. Yeah. It was yeah. like I couldn't uh -huh. even. I couldn't uh -huh. even get a good. What they do with all that <laughs> tissue? Because they couldn't have used it all. Them old ladies still got in their basement. Still in their yep. Still in their house. Still, still in their house, Rats waiting either. for the endemic. But again, uh -huh. there's been a pandemic. If you don't know what an endemic is, please look it up. Do your research. Every pandemic in society, Spanish flu, it, you name it, has an endemic. COVID hasn't had one yet. So. We are going to head into a season soon. I would say over the next couple of years. It says 2025. And I have some military friends that are, you know, and they, they say the same thing. Prepare yourself. Prepare your families. Now, it's an election year. Get ready. If anything, just try to do the basics. Food, water, shelter, protection. You need to know how to set a perimeter around your house. You need to talk to your family. Do your kids know what to do in the event that there's no phones, they don't know where they are. They don't know north, south, east, west. No kid knows what a compass is. Yeah. So if your child yeah. is at somebody's house or, say, in Chicago, how are they going to get to you? What is your plan for your family? Shout out to Team No Kids. Shout out, going. shout out. No. <laughs> <laughs> and from what, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. You need to know how are you going to survive. I get what you're saying for sure. And we, we're getting to a, a point in, I think, society... And um, the world has given us enough signs. A lot of people like to say, oh, God's given us signs of all the times and all the biblical. It's because of repetitive patterns. Mm -hmm. like, excuse me, I'm not repetitive debunking patterns, religion yeah. whatsoever. Yeah. I have studied every one of them. I was raised Mormon. Okay? Mormon. With that being said, patterns exist on this world for a reason. Mm -hmm. Okay? So you have to pay attention to that. This stuff ain't a joke. And if it happens, it really is going to be survival of the fittest. And the sad part is, we're allowing them to erase history in our history books. And most people don't understand what that power is because history repeats itself. So the history books have stopped it from repeating itself in the last so many hundred years. But now all of a sudden, and I'm not just talking slavery, just Everything. in general, it's all leaving. Because that's what American exceptionalism, the more American you are, the better off you are. That's ridding you of ancestry and roots. So slowly mm -hmm. over decades and generations, we've been ridding ourselves, because we've allowed it, of ancestry and root. Yeah. And so now here you are just kind of autopiloting and following along while the world is literally falling apart around you. While the people around you aren't keeping it real, they're not loving you, they're jealous. Mm -hmm. Everybody's focused all their attention on things that don't matter. What matters is your home. Your family, your mind, your mental, that financial stuff. Guess what? If, if if there is no earth and there's only a couple of survivors, that dollar don't mean uh, that, nothing. Don't mean that's the same yeah. thing. If it turns into one of the wars where where it comes on the home front. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care about your dollars. I need water. I need food. What you you got gas? What you, you got for me? me. You got. And give yes. me some more. No, you got some. So our last you. question. Before my computer turns off, because it's yeah. about to die, uh -oh. Byron Lloyd says, what are your thoughts on tattooing spouses' names? <laughs> so, um... I got to show him love, because he's been talking to us. And I, I'm sorry, we, you've been on there, bro. I, um, I'll tattoo it. I'll cover it up, too. Uh, so, I'm going to say, do you cover them up? I got you. So, um, so I, I've got names on me, and I'm just going to start a scroll. Um, instead of covering them now, I'm just going to have, you know, like a nice little scroll going. Yeah, yeah. So These like a are list. those before you. These yes. <laughs> Can you make it past the graveyard? No, I'm just saying. Scott Pilgrim. Yes. Seven. Seven. <laughs> I, I got so, it. I encourage, if, and this is not, before I say this, this is not a religious thing. Mm -hmm. This is a spiritual thing 
for a mind body connection and the energy that runs through us all. It is scientifically proven. So this is not a play on God or Jesus or your religion. It is just for peace of mind, right. Say and it. flow of energy. I have Say to, that's important it. for a lot of those Christians you attacked already. Yeah, me too. So there's a book Shit. called The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success okay. by Deepak Chopra. Great one. Uh, you ready? Mm-hmm. And it is imperative. You know how you say I talk and how I act and how people look at me? Mm-hmm. It's literally because of this book. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So one of the things that this book says is you're never supposed to go anywhere without a gift. Okay. Regardless if that gift is a greeting, if it's laughter, if it's a physical presence, if it's just checking on you, every time you meet somebody, you're supposed to get them a gift. Mm. Pray for them. Praying for them is a gift. Purposeful. Right. So that's why every person I talk to, I'm either trying to make them laugh yeah. mm-hmm. or I'm trying to figure out what's going on with you. Are you good? Yeah. But that's part of the gift. Okay. You're not alone. Being not alone is a gift. Mm. Okay. Um, another one of them is meditating. Yes. Um, Please. another one of them is, is, um, 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 um I can't karma. Okay. How to handle your karmatic debts. Okay. Good right? and bad. Good and bad. Well, you don't handle your good ones. You, you appreciate your good ones, yes. mm-hmm. but right. your bad ones, it's almost like a repentance. Okay. There are multiple ways that you can either release them, accept them, let them go. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I implore people to go out and read. Um, I know it ain't. I know you read. You're you the most. Me, told y'all I he the most reading his nice DJ. I said every show for him. I love the reading. most reading his DJ. Crazy, bro. I um, I love reading. I'm yeah. I'm I'm one of those humans that oof, give me a book. I'm lost. I encourage you to read regardless of what it is. You don't have to read what I just gave you. Reason. That's one of the few. That's one of the few reason. books that I read that was actually not a story, fantasy. Yeah. That's one of the few books that didn't have magic and swords and mm. creatures. And those are what I prefer to read. Um, Captivating. Yeah. But read because it opens your mind and helps your mind think. Girl. It, it does not. It, it's a muscle. It has to be worked. And there are a lot of people who are ahead of you primarily because they read. Mm. And listen. A That's lot my of last thought. need to listen. I love that though. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> no, it is a lot of a lot of time the the self box containment that people put themselves in is because they're unwilling to grow their minds. If you can, if you want to grow your bicep, you're gonna work it out. If you want to grow your mind, you need to fuel it. You need to feed it. You need to have meaningful, purposeful interactions with other humans. And the the words I don't like to read is not an excuse. Oh yeah, because there's audio books. I don't want to hear it. I don't, I don't like to poop. Mm, me neither. I don't like. I don't do that. I, I don't like to use the tissue to wipe myself. I don't have to do none of that because I'm. A, we don't do none of that yucky stuff. Because girls. Don't. No, we don't. We're aliens. I'm a, that shit at your house. It's my, unicorn glitter. You know what? My my presence my present to you is believing you. I believe that. <laughs> um, but you you gotta strengthen the mind for sure. Thank you. You got a last word? Anything going on you want to talk about? The Black Experience. I'm DJing Saturday. Okay. In the high school. Uh, Black HP Mind program, so we're doing that. Um, I be at tracks on Saturdays as well. So that pull up on me. Um, this show, show's going great. Thank you for coming. Yeah, for yeah, thank you. Thank you for yeah. having me so much. Um, just stand up and turn around and show them tattoo one time because I've been working hard on it. I was just going to say it's about time. I'm trying to see how I can. Yeah, you, you can. Stand up here, my guy. You can. You want to just, just take, no, no, we're going to take a picture at the end and just, oh, he got it. Even better. Let's see if he got it. Let me see. Let's see. Let's see. Here go right here. Yep. Yep. You, you can come see, see that. me when you when it We'll take some up, pictures so though for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why you squat to the next? I don't know. Yep, as soon as it heals up, you come see me for the touch up and we'll get in there really good with that black and just make sure it sticks real well. How long do you need? Mm, you need that'll break. probably heal in about ten days. Better, say less. Yep. We can either do the same thing, come in here, I could just whip it out real quick and uh touch you up or what? Any uh upcoming events for you? No. <laughs> Any final words for you? Final words. Please take care of yourself and each other. Mm. How can we be? How can you be reached on? Huh? How can you be reached on the internet? On the worldwide. Diamond D A I M O O N on Facebook. That's the easiest way. 
Don't look for me, look for him. Cut this motherfucker, man. You ain't got no shout outs. We do that. It's over. It's over. Cut the show. It's over. We did it. Yay. We want you to know we really enjoy you because we we now limit this to an hour and 10 minutes. And we did quite a little bit over. Oops. No, you did nothing wrong. We enjoyed you. Yeah. Good. I'm glad. I loved it.